we also write books for clients and for your consulting. So one of those books is called the Ready, Set, Go Manual. And that's something if you do QuickBooks Consulting, you can actually use this book and go lesson by lesson with the client. And then they have the book afterward. And we also do group training classes, which are in your handouts as well. And you can tell your clients about those. Those are at Nova Southeastern University. And so we travel around the campuses doing those group classes too. So everything that we talk about today for the client data review feature is in your, in your CD. You've got a handbook so you can just relax with what we're about to go over. Uh, we're, what we're going to talk about is how this new feature can help you during busy season and going forward in your setup engagements. And some of the areas will be in troubleshooting your general ledger account. So when you get your client's QuickBooks file at the end of the year, and you had put in your ending entries from last year, and then you get it back, what happened to those balances? No, they don't match, right? They're, they don't tie at all. So uh, this tool is going to help troubleshoot what happened to those balances. Also, uh, it will track changes to lists, so I'll be going over those. Open items that are in accounts payable and accounts receivable. And we'll also go about other things that you should consider that might not be in this tool. This tool is uh, brand new this year in 2009. I actually worked with Intuit on the product development team from the accountant side to say these are the things we need, these are our headaches, and it's an evolving feature so every year it's going to get better and better so you know get used to it this year and get started with it so what it's going to allow you to do is all the things that we talked about also what it will allow you to do is track all of the changes that you make in that quickbooks file with a new kind of user that's in 2009 so i'm going to talk about that and additionally if have any of you used accountants copy before the accountants copy files it's going to be even more important to use it now because you'll be able to use this tool in Premier Accountant Edition by using that accountant's copy file. You will be able to set a closing date in that accountant's copy file and that be returned to the client with the closing date in it to try to protect your cutoff after you finish. So that's new this year in accountant's copy. The other thing that's new is this new user called an external accountant user. So this is brand new. What this user is, it gives you administrator level access. So before, you would ask your client for the administrator name and password because you wanted to have administrator level access on that QuickBooks file. You don't want to be limited in what you could do and couldn't do in the file. The problem with that is if you log on as the same user as them, your changes are meshed in with their changes, so anything that happens in that QuickBooks file every day going forward is now your fault once you've touched it, okay? So if you can start with setting yourself up as your own user in a QuickBooks file and making sure that your changes are tracked separately, you can do this now and get the same level of access. The only things that you can't do as an external accountant user is uh, you can't view customer credit card information, so you shouldn't need that, right? And then you also can't add or edit users in the file. But everything else you can do as the external account user. And what you're going to do is ask your client, who's the administrator of the file, to set you up as the external accountant before they create that accountant's copy file. So now when they go through the, the wizard of setting you up in there as a new user, there is a full access role there's a selected access role. Now there will be an external account user role that they can select. Just make sure here that they do not set internal people up as the external account user. You don't want other people at the client set up as the external account. It would only be you. So this is what it looks like. So when you're setting that up, it says all areas of QuickBooks, selected areas, or external accountant. So they're going to choose you as the external accountant. And then you will be able to have full access into that file. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask as we're going along. So the way the client data review looks is this. In Premier Accountant Edition, under your accountant menu, you have an option for client data review now. 
And what that will do is start a review in that file <coughs> so that you can start troubleshooting any things that you might want to check from last year and what happened in the QuickBooks data file. So first you set your date range, which is going to be the prior year. And I'm going to show you as well in here, as well as on the PowerPoint. And what you're looking at, accrual or cash basis, and that's QuickBooks accrual or cash. So if there's accrual entries, you have to make yourself to make those. And then you start the review. And then you're going to get a screen that looks like this. So what this is, is basically in tax, you have PPC that gives you, you know, a whole work paper file of the things that you need to follow to get the tax return done or when you're doing accounting services or compilations or reviews. This is the first time that QuickBooks is actually attempting and a checklist to help you go through the tasks that you need to go through at the end of the year. And you don't have to do everything that's on here. So if this is way more than you would ever do in a QuickBooks file, that's okay. You can customize the screen and just do the tasks that you want to do in here. But once you uh, start this, you will be troubleshooting the beginning balances, and then you can go in and put your ending journal entries, and you can be done if that's all you want to do. But it's important to complete the review so that next year it's tracking any changes that the client's doing in here. So it doesn't make you finish everything. So I'm going to show you in a second. But how you customize this review is these are all the tasks that are sitting in that review of things for you to complete during your year-end process. If you do not want to have accounts receivable, accounts payable, or they don't have inventory, or you're not going to look at their payroll, that's fine. You just uncheck those boxes and you will not see them pop up on the screen. Now, especially in a CPA firm, when you're talking about when you've got managers and supervisors and staff, multiple people can be set up as an external accountant. You'd each want your own login into QuickBooks and you would all be set up as an external account user. Well, the manager or the supervisor can go in, customize the screen first of what you want your staff to do, and then it will just be populated and ready for that review. Okay, the next thing here is uh, list changes. So one of the really hard things for us, so these are some things you might want to do first before you go back to do that troubleshoot account balances. If you're really going to troubleshoot the file and try to fix some transactions, what we couldn't track before was that if we go, we set up the QuickBooks file, it's pretty. Or we close it out at the end of the year and we got it exactly the way we want it. All the chart of accounts is where we want it, the items are coded properly, then we get it back the next year, they've added accounts, they've put uh, office supplies as fixed assets, you know, so everything's in the wrong spot or things have been merged together, so we can't even tie out our trial balance because certain accounts in the chart of accounts have been merged together. This client data review tool is going to track those changes now in QuickBooks. So it's going to let me know if any accounts were changed in the file, if any were added, if any were merged, and if any were deleted. So that way, before I go and try to tie out my beginning balances, I know which accounts I have to look for or add up to get to my right beginning balances from last year. I can also do that for the item list. I can do it for the payroll item list. And I can do it for the fixed asset item list. So any one of those lists is going to track what you're doing. So I'm going to show you that. Um, so once you see that there's a problem, you see here what it's telling you is this loan from Bank of America account was added to the chart of accounts, and it was added as an income type account. So that tells you you need to go back and change the account type. So what you'll do is go back into that account in the chart of accounts and change the account type, and then that will pop out of that screen once you clear that. 